This video is going to be focused on the Hunter class, going through what the PAs are and the skill tree. I'll try to be in depth with it as much as possible, so yeah. Hunter is focused on close combat as a tank with high HP and defense. They have access to sword, wired lance, and partisan weapons. Each weapon comes with a set of photon arts built inside. All weapons have a normal attack and a weapon action. Swords and partisans have chargeable PAs, while wired lance doesn't. Each weapon has three uh, photon arts. Spiral Edge is a vertical slash photon art that lets you slash upwards and lifts your character from the ground. Twisting Zapper is an AoE spin and wind attack that lets you move forward while attacking the enemies. Caliber Streak is three consecutive slashes where you press the same PA to do multiple slashes up to three times. You can also charge these two PAs to produce a better result, but yeah. Cutting Lair lets you do multiple slashes with Wired Lance towards the enemies in front of you. Vein Mixture is a wide AoE attack with a finishing blow in the end. Turbulent Train lets you do three downward slashes towards the enemy. Cleaving Scythe is a quick slash PA. You can also charge this PA to produce a rift. Thrusting Javelin thrusts the partisan weapon repeatedly and throw the weapon at the enemy. Uh, you can charge this PA and do multiple thrusts and throw the spear at the end. Fatal Tornado lets you attack the enemies while spinning the weapon. Now we have the skill tree. This is what the skill tree for Hunter would look like. First, we have War Cry. It is an active skill that will aggro enemies towards you instead of other players. The effect duration and the cooldown is 30 seconds. Hunter Physique is also an active skill, reducing damage taken for a certain amount of time. I would put one point into this skill as it is not worth putting extra points into this. Flash Guard is just flat out damage reduction. It benefits more as a subclass than a main class. And just like the Hunter Physique, I recommend just putting one point into the skill as well. Next, we have Iron Will. Uh, you'll survive with 1 HP, but it has a 3 minute cooldown. It also uh, grants you invincibility for 10 seconds. Omni Directional Guard. This will let you guard from attacks from all directions. Uh, without this, you'll just be guarding what is in front of your character instead. A slow landing charge. Uh, when you charge your PA in the air, you'll be able to stay in the air a lot longer and slow your fall speed. Hunter Art Avenger uh, increases PA potency when hit in the middle of a photon art. Uh, this skill is required in order to unlock the skills below. Sword Attack Extra. By default, you'll start with 3 normal attacks, but with this skill, you'll be able to chain up to 5 normal attacks. Wired Attack Extra. Uh, you'll be able to chain up to 4 normal attacks instead of 3. Uh, same Art Skip Attack. If you chain two same PAs together and do a normal attack after, you'll automatically jump to the third normal attack with this skill. Another art skip attack. Uh, it is another passive, but instead chaining two different PAs together. And you will jump to the fourth normal attack instead. I might be wrong about this, but if you do not have the sword attack extra, uh, you'll just do the third normal attack instead as the final step. Sword Guard Counter lets you automatically attack after doing a perfect guard. Sword Guard Counter Plus lets you do an additional normal attack after performing a perfect guard. Uh, wired Anchor Advance. Uh, this grants you more accessibility when using the weapon action with your Wired Lance, giving you more options with your movement keys. Pressing forward after the weapon action will pull you towards the enemy. Pressing sideways, you can do a quick slash 
if you just tap the directional button. If you hold it, however, you will be able to do a big AoE attack surrounding all enemies around you. And moving backwards will just lend you backwards. Uh, wired Anchor Perfect Parry. Any attacks will be negated when using the weapon action. Uh, Volgraptor. If you hold the weapon action, you'll shoot a spear with the Partisan that will build damage over time. It will explode after a certain duration or dealing enough damage. Uh, Hunter Arts Perfect Parry. Any attacks will be negated when you unleash a PA attack. Uh, you have to time your attacks with their attacks, otherwise uh, it, it will not work. Assault Charge. If you press the weapon action after a PA, you will thrust your weapon to the enemy. Uh, Assault Charge Avenger. Your weapon action potency will increase if you take hit during a PA. You can actually charge your weapon action after using a PA with a Partisan. Hunter Arts Avenger PP gain. You'll get PP back if you take a hit with the Hunter Arts Avenger skill. And that's about it for Hunter. I hope you find this guide useful and give you a better understanding of how Hunter class works. I have more guides planned for other classes too. Um, if you find this guide useful, uh, leave a like, sub to the channel for more PSO2 content. I do stream PSO2 sometimes on Twitch. Uh, follow my Twitter too for updates and I'll leave both links down in the description below. And uh, yeah, um, I hope you have a good day and as always, happy grinding.